Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter. Um, in this short video, I'll be walking you through quickly on how to understand. I want to quickly explain um, the time frames and how to use period separator. I've, ha I've been asked a few times. People get a lot of things confused about the time frames and the and the and the uh, period separator. So this video is also part of the series of beginners, uh, forex beginners series that I'm currently doing. And then I want you to walk through it when you are done. So go over the other series and then be able to pick one or two things to make your trading career better. So let's get into to this discussion. So if you are a new person on this channel, please kindly hit the like button and also um, subscribe to my channel so that you can have uh, you can be notified also turn the bell the subscribe bell on so that when I drop new video you can be notified and then you be one of the first to you know get the the information in my quality videos as I drop them so please kindly subscribe and kindly uh, click the like button it's gonna help more people see this so uh what are the time frames i know you can see this now we have one minute five minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes one each each one that is one half four hours um one day one week one month so what does that mean what does all of that mean in, in, in on this chart so let me start with the one month the monthly um, time frame so when you're on the monthly time frame what it actually mean is that now every candlestick and then if you don't understand what you mean by candlestick this is each each of these are candlesticks so you can see they are this of different size and shapes they all have different things that they represent so uh, there are videos there are also more videos on this channel that explain candlesticks and all of that so you can do well to to watch that and understand that better so now it means each of these candles took a whole month to form that's what it means each of these candles no matter the size or the shape took a whole month so the same way this took a month to form the same way this took a month to form and the same way this one took a month and this one took a month to form so every candlestick on this chart is i mean took a month to form so if we go to to w1 now you know what, it, what that means already every candle took a week to form so um this is the current week currently forming this is the last week this is the week before and it goes like that like that so on d1 each count took a day to form a day to form so this is today this was yesterday this was the day before and it goes like that so h4 every candle took four hours four good hours to form and it goes that way so on h1 every candle took one one hour to form on m30 every candle took 30 minutes to form on m15 every candle took 15 minutes to form on uh, five minutes every candle took five minutes to form and on one minute every candle took one minute to form so that's what it means so that's what that means so that is that about the time frames so how do you use and how does that translate into useful um to help you uh, to inform your decision to help you make quality decision so it means that if you ever want to trade and you get on 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 uh, on a monthly time frame it means that you trade you are taking now each candlestick is represented by one month so most times where you ever see anybody that understand what he's doing i mean trade on, uh, on, on monthly time frame these are long-term traders so so if you're a day trader or a swing trader whatever it is you want to call yourself as a beginner now you shouldn't go beyond d1 and h4 anything beyond that you most likely just deceiving yourself because I mean, if you're on W1, that is one week, where it's going to be your SL. Your SL is going to be very wide and your tip is going to be very wide. You're looking at a lot of weeks before you can take your TP. I don't understand how you want to do that as a beginner. So it's, it is just, uh, the spread. Of course, I know you can, you can, you can trade a low or no spread account, but then as a day trader, as a beginner, as a swing trader, stay on H1. 
oh, sorry, stay on D1 or H4. That's what you want to deal with. That's what you want to deal with. It means if you're on, if you're on, if you're on um, H1, um, H4, you can take your trade and close the trade. I mean, in, in today, you can t take a trade and close it and be able to close the trade and trade eating your TP tomorrow or any day very soon. So that is um, a quick one concerning the time frames. So that's that about time frame. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you find value in this video, kindly like and help um, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get the other videos as they drop. So thank you very much. See you in the next video.